Yes. Oh my god. What's going on guys? Wednesday afternoon. Making a quick run to the post office. Got about 10 orders between yesterday and right now. So gonna get those out. Let's see what happens. All right, change of plans. Mr. Alfredo Mancuso told me that T is headed to Tip Plus. So we're gonna go there right now. All right, just made it to Tip Plus. This is super ironic. I wasn't planning on coming to Tip. Well, I guess not really ironic, but I didn't even bring the wheel that I had been wanting to come to Tip for all these weeks to fix. I didn't know I was coming to Tip for the last second. Look at this guy's whip. Hello, you know who that is. Yeah, I didn't even bring that wheel. Bummer, right? I mean, it doesn't really matter because I still have the um, old front wheel that I've been using, which is running just fine. Would've been nice to kill two birds with one stone. Judging by the fact that Alfredo's bike is still on his roof, they're not riding. Nope, they're not. So they're probably inside. I'll head inside right now to see what's going on in there. They're not there. Okay, they're usually like here or outside of the ramp, so I don't know where they are. Yeah, I am too. Where are you in the warehouse? Would I ever wear some low tech? Looks like I got a nine and a half. Oh. Yo, what is that there? Oh, that? Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna put that in. The people, you can guess what that is, because I don't even know. What's up, Brandon Deegan? Swing! Yo, that's the initiator. He's <laughs> like a retarded playground. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> five for 20. Is it five even or is it gonna be like 563? Right? This is why Tip Plus is lit. Homie comes and just slangs whole pizzas for five dollars. He comes to you. You don't even have to call him. Can I get one? <laughs> Yo. That's right, for the fam. Yo. Carbs, Uncle Fredo. Hey, five bucks for a pizza. Yo. <laughs> it's got pineapple. It's got pineapple on it. That's like an extra come up. I hate crust. Shout out to Alfredo for the pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get in there. Mm. Don't get pizza sauce in your hair. Yo. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. What was that? Do it again. Shout out to those shades. Those are legendary now. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is that? Vegan moves. Yeah. MVP or nothing. <laughs> I want to see this frame. First tee. Bang! Woo! Yeah, an hour later. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, I love vegan. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh! Oh! Vegan's going in. Oh! I had no footer. Hey! Yo! Oh! Send it. God damn! Have you ever been in the presence of a fist fight? This is where his channel gets dark and it. Oh my god. Whoa. 180 bar that. Hey, hey, kids want to see us go, go in right now. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hell yeah. Yeah. yeah good Whoa. Thing. Pretty cool session so far. I'm going to switch the shoes out, try and get a clip on that A frame rail. Hey, hey, hold on first. Follow Brandon Vegan. Yeah. You're your video. <laughs> yeah, I did. Vegan <laughs> for filming. You got this. My garbage self. Get this. I'm so garbage. Yeah. Hello. Shout out to Vegan. I do film. Right back at it. I'm sending that one to Alfredo because he missed it. I did miss it. <laughs> I will not take your clip, you freebie. Hello. This is your signature. You need to come out with one of those. It's like <laughs> right? yours. That'd be a good idea. 
Turn it up, Biggin. I'm getting all up in your side. Damn. That Biggin? Damn. What? That was sick. So you make it to the tippy top. Connor goes off constantly. Yo. Yo. Damn. There it is. That's the clip. That's the banger. Oh, vegan! Vlog crew, 2016. Everyone in this shot is a vlogger. Skirt! Whoa. Yo! This guy just doesn't stop. Boom! Yo, you know. Whoop! Whoa! Peace! Boom. Yes. Oh my god. Dude, are you alright? Jesus Christ, are you okay, bro? It's too short to smith out that nose. Are you trying to smith out that? Yeah. That was not tight. No. no that that looked painful. It was. <laughs> it was. Send this place to hell. Someone always dies when we come here. Yeah. I always he die when I'm here. Session is a wrap. Markel came out, didn't even get to get a clip. Snoozy Lewis, buddy. At least you're in the video now. <laughs> more Markel videos coming soon. More OSS videos coming soon. Uh, that's actually a wrap for today, though. Today's video is pretty chill. Um, at least I got my one little clip in. Yeah, check the site. These shirts are going to be up by the time you watch this. So go cop one. Get the pre-order in for your boy. Because they're going to sell out really quick. I only have five of each. So check them out. Pixfilm.com. Um, yeah, thanks to Brandon Began for filming. Thanks to Alfredo for being a real one. Yeah. Shout out me, shout out Tyra. That's it. Yeah, swerve on him. There's your clip. Oh, give me one clip. Give me a flat ground clip. Give me a Nolly 180 to full cap. Oh my god. Let's see it. Are you going to spaz on me? I'm not. Yo, there it is. That's what I like to see. What time are you off? Oh, that's plenty of time. Let's catch a session somewhere. Alright. Yeah, my bad about hitting you. <laughs> You're not getting talking about low energy in this video for today and just not much going on. I'm still really sick. I just don't feel great. Still forcing myself to get up, get a video done for you guys every day. No exceptions. You already know that. No days off. Shout out to the OSS Robbie, boys. Uh... So yeah, check the site for that. Hoodies coming in like two weeks. More hats coming next week with the new logo, the new Hicks film, and a new logo that you guys haven't even seen yet. Pretty hyped on that. Taking my ass to bed. Okay, this is that once a week time where I reply to your guys' comments. So let's get straight into it. First comment, Derek Stratton on, she's crazy for trying this. To be honest, that's a really great key. I haven't heard anyone for this tip uh, to success, integrating your personality as much as possible. If you saw that video, it's pretty much just about, that one was kind of just me talking about how if you want to succeed on YouTube, your personality needs to be the first part of your channel, the content needs to come second. That's personally what I believe will bring you the most success. A lot of people disagree, a lot of people did agree. That's just what I think, and I still think that totally stands true. If you bring yourself to the channel first and then the content after, it's gonna bring you a lot further than if you start with the content and you're just kinda like this faceless dude who provides it. You know, I think a prime example is this channel called uh, Saab Kyle, he like reviews cars basically. He just, he goes into cars that are like, you know, new or whatever and he'll do like a quick walkthrough. It's not really a review, he'll just start it up, go over the features. But every single video just kind of has this like tinge of his personality, his voice is kind of unique. He doesn't even actually put his face on camera that much, but you just know it's him when you stumble upon one of the videos from the voice and the way it's presented. I think that's really important. Even if, you know, you're not necessarily showing your face, obviously that's always going to bring you a lot further than just your voice, but no matter what, having some element of your personality in the video, it's gonna take you a lot further on YouTube. All right, the second one on the same video is from Wheels Unlimited. He says, how about an update on Stevie? How's his broken thumb? Will he be riding anytime soon? I actually went and hung out with Stevie uh, a couple nights ago, the day after we did this video. 
Wow. Honestly, his thumb is still like in really bad condition. As far as riding again soon, he might be like pedaling a bike and being able to maybe do bunny hops. As far as dropping bangers, I think he might still be like a little ways off from that. I'm gonna swing by the OSS house soon. Hopefully he's over there just to like say what's up. I like coming in and checking on Stevie because that's that's honestly one of my boys. Him and Beacon, they're like the OSS like OGs for me. Obviously also Alfredo and Adam too. I would love to see him back on a bike sooner, you know, but some things you just can't rush, you know, so. Hopefully soon. Okay, this next one's from More Other Fresh. He says, why do you put your bike in the trunk if you have a roof rack? Easy, uh, two reasons. One is the original straps from my roof rack, the original straps from my roof rack fell off one day, like while I was driving, they just like flew off. So I started using these red bungee cords. Which are these things I got on Amazon for like nine bucks a piece and they actually work amazing. I'll put a link to them in the comments if you wanna check them out cause they're really cheap and they're useful for like so many things. I really recommend them. It's not really like a pain in the ass season but it's just not that convenient compared to just like throwing it in my trunk. Also, when you put your bike on your roof, it like greatly reduces your gas mileage or like the miles per gallon your car gets so it's more expensive technically to put your bike on your roof and then his question continues he says are you a filmmaker for a living would you consider making or throwing in tips or talking about your education and what i took from my nine years of filmmaking to now i'm actually thinking about setting up a second channel that's solely dedicated to filming tips if you're like an og subscriber you remember the series i had way back called camera talk i just sat somewhere and like talked about camera stuff i've been thinking about doing this for a second channel now so leave a comment below if you want to see that happen i'm really thinking about doing it i'm actually probably going to do it anyway but yeah leave a comment if you'd like to see that because if you guys comment it'll really inspire me to get going on it because i know a lot of stuff about cameras i'm not even gonna lie i know like a lot <laughs> not even trying to like brag or boast or anything but like i used to be the biggest camera nerd like i would sit on forums and camera websites and i still kind of do and just research everything that was coming out about cameras like everything like i wanted to know everything so now i just kind of know a lot and I'd love to share the information with you guys, but it doesn't really fit on this channel, which is now like a vlog channel. So yeah, that's something I'm considering. Evan Burton says, am I playing GTA on Xbox One or PS4? PS4, once I hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna start live streaming on Twitch and I hope you guys watch. That's actually gonna happen really soon. So yeah, <laughs> I'm actually really excited about it. I love playing video games. Watch out soon. I have my Twitch channel linked in my profile. If you look in like the links in my channel art, there's a Twitch link there, so you should go ahead and hit the subscribe button now, and you never know when something might pop up there. Okay, last question. Once again, shout out to this bush. Okay, last question from Edward Robinson. He says, the thing is, I mostly watch your videos at work, so for me, it's mostly about the BMX, um, and he can't hear much. This one is, is challenging for me because, as you guys have noticed, like I'm talking a lot more in these videos because I have this strong desire to communicate with a lot of the people that I consider my fans. And those are the ones that actually like want to hear me talk. So it's like I'm in this this troubled spot where, you know, I'm like my main purpose of this channel is to provide BMX stuff, which is never going to go away. Like I'm a BMXer through and through till I die. I'm always going to ride BMX. I'm always going to document BMX for you guys. That's what I'm all about. But I also want to talk to you guys about what's on my mind and what I'm feeling. And like I can tell who the real fans are because they're the ones who comment below and I'm like, I dig it, Hicks. Like, I like the way you think. I agree with what you think, or I disagree, and here's what I think about it. The people who like engage in dialogue are the ones that I'm really doing this for at this point. There's the people who are like, you talk too much, give me more BMX. You're getting, like, I don't care what you think, first of all. Like, you're irrelevant to this conversation. Me and the actual fans of what I'm doing here, we're the ones that are actually gonna continue to, like, collaborate and communicate and make this channel better over time like you can just you can go watch the come up there's other channels where you can just watch strictly bmx like you're not gonna get that here you know you're gonna get more of me i'm sorry but this is my channel so that's what it's gonna be there's always gonna be bmx but you gotta understand like if you're watching me there's gonna be a lot more like of me talking about my thoughts my opinions on stuff and asking you guys what you feel on certain topics because that's way more interesting to me personally than just bike tricks i love bike tricks i love doing bike tricks i love filming bike tricks that's not gonna stop you guys need to understand that but neither is me trying to integrate my personality in these videos which is what i try to drive through in the previous video you know like the integration of me is what's gonna make this channel really thrive it's gonna make it better for all of us it's gonna make me able to make more content it's just it's gonna be a win-win all around so just bear with me i'm still finding my bearings with all this stuff but the more you guys like leave comments below that are positive or even just like giving me feedback those matter the most beyond like you talk too much give me more bmx i completely disregard that like it doesn't even make me mad anymore i just click boom and hide future comment from this person because like i don't care you can save that opinion like anyways 
Thank you guys for leaving comments so much. I sincerely enjoy reading all the comments that you guys leave. Um, yeah, that's like the dopest part of this channel now is just reading the comments of people that actually care about the content and engaging with those people. Moreover, the people that like are buying stuff from my website and like are also emailing me stuff that like is actually really dope. Like, yo Hicks, I really enjoy what you're doing. Shout out from New Zealand or shout out from France. Shout out from Antarctica. Like people all over the world are actually like into this channel now and that's crazy to me. So that's what really matters is the people who are like that, the ones that are really showing love. The rest of you guys, but that's gonna wrap it up for today. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to some of the best comments I saw this week. Yeah, tune in for the rest of this week. More videos coming every day. Xavier Wolf just booked me a flight for next week. So we're gonna be taking off doing some fun shooting at Tuner Evo, North Carolina. So keep your eyes open for that. I will be there if you guys are gonna be there. Um, I don't know who all might be there, but I will be there. <sighs> so yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up for this one. Thank you guys for watching another John Hicks film. Peace. Right here. No, like right. It's gonna be awesome. Don't worry. You're gonna be on YouTube. Hold it like right here. I'm just gonna do a bar scene right there. Okay. Good. It's my fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you guys doing? Okay. You have some people we can follow, like... Yeah, just search me on YouTube, John Hicks. Give him the patch kit. The patch kit has Instagram. I'll put it in. Quit <laughs> <laughs> riding, go to filming. There it is.